All right, I'm out today with my friend David. I'm going to see what we can find. We spent a little time in this field before, but on this end, we're going to go on that end today and see if we find anything. Hopefully, there's something down there. There's a ton of trash in here, but my first find that I actually dug that's brass is this little piece. I'll have to clean it up. I forgot my toothbrush, too. It doesn't look too old, but at least it's a little piece of brass. I think it's brass. 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 Yeah, brass. So, anyway, I think it's got a little wording or design on it. I'll have to clean it up. Wow, it's a coin. Fell out of the side right there when I dug this plug. Probably not very old. It looks like a penny. Well, let's see. Let's see what it is. Lincoln. Oh, at least it's copper. I don't know what year it is. Probably 70s, I would think. 60s, 70s. Yeah, it's 60, 70s. Then somebody fishing in that little pond, or there might have been a little building here at one time. I know there was one up front, 1970 something, I think. I can't tell. Right down on that hole, some kind of. Brass fitting doesn't look horribly old. It's got a little age to it, but probably some piece of farm equipment or something. Who knows? Yeah, I got a dime. A lot of trash, a lot of modern stuff in here. And if you look, there's shells in here, which lead me to believe that they took that pond and dug it and threw the um, shell sand over on top of this. So if there was anything old, it'd be like really deep. All right, we found a little area where they did some recent. Like brushing down on this hole. Got a little buckle. Looks pretty old too. This little D buckle. That's a good sign. Well, we had to move. There wasn't any signals. And so I'm back in the woods. And I think I got a coin. I saw it for just a second. Yep, yeah, right there. Let's see. That's what that is. Yep, it's definitely a coin. Huh. Well, I can't tell what it is. We have penny. Let me clean it up a little bit, see what I can make out on it. Show you in just a second. Sit right there for just a second. You can look at the hole. So it may just be a flat button. Oh yeah, that's what that is. And it's a flat button. That's where the shank was. It's got a little gold gilt left on the back of it. That's a that's good. All right, I'm pretty sure there was a house site right in here or something, but I can't get to it. There's just so many brambles and underbrush, but I did. Yeah, I'm getting in some areas because I can. It's starting to die for the winter, or it is dead for the winter in some spots. So, but I think I got a musket ball or a fishing weight or something. I'll have to clean it up. I think it's a misformed, actually it might even be a bullet of some sort. I'll have to get it cleaned up and take a good look at it. Well, I've been clearing a little bit with the shovel because it's, it's dead enough to clear. I mean there's some still alive green stuff but I did get something right here. Let's see what it is. Oh, that is yep, that is a good sign of a house because that is a um, organ reed or squeeze box reed or something like that. Well, I've been clearing around. These holes are hard to cover up. It's so wet in here. It's not funny. But anyway, I do have a good signal. Right here somewhere. Yeah, it's a... Uh, it's really high. Everything's reading high right now, though. so wet. Alright, let's dig it and see what we can find. Find a place to sit. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute, I got a tripod. Tripod on. Just a little bit. Alright. Such a lot. Back in there, hopefully you can see. Yeah. Now hopefully you can see. Right there. 
Okay, it's a little soft. And here, how mushy it is. This might be trash. There's some trash in here as well. But I did find a piece of pottery. Thought I saw one a second ago. I'll look for it again. It's already out. So, it's kind of tag or a piece of aluminum or something. I'll have to clean that up and see. Give me a second. I can't tell if that's aluminum or brass. I don't have my toothbrush today, so clean it up later. Probably just junk. My fair little bit's paying off because I'm finding some stuff. Here's something real interesting. Probably top to a oil lamp or something. See that? I don't know. Maybe a bell? Something. I'm gonna have to clean it up. See a little design around it? Man, I wish I had not left my own toothbrush at home. So I can find the stick cleaned up a little bit. Not that stick, it's not strong enough. Well, all kinds of brambles around here, but no sticks. Really interesting. So, I'll have to clean it up later and show you. See what that is. Well, I cleared a, another little spot here. I think I got a button or a coin or something right there. It's round. Hey, it's hard to tell. The soil is mucky. Actually, it might just be the piece of something. <laughs> yeah, I can't tell. Definitely not a coin. Huh. Let me see if that's it. Oh yeah, definitely it. Well, again, I'll have to clean it up. See if I can tell what it is. Some kind of piece of brass, a piece of something. Well, I don't know what it is, but it's got a design on it. You can see it. Might be some more of it down in there. I'll have to check. Got a dime that hole. Just got a piece of a fork. Can't tell how old it is. There's no handle. I'll keep looking. If I should find the handle, I'll show you. All right, we moved out of the woods into a field. And I got something right here. It looks like a button. That is what that is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it looks like a script eye. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Man, I can't believe that. I don't have my toothbrush. You got a brush? In my bag, I do. See, look at that. It's got a script letter on it. Oh, yeah, it is. It's an I. Is it a script yep, eye? Yep, it's an I. <laughs> Daggummit. <laughs> I mean, that was like your first I know, my first field. signal in this field. Has it got the shank Yeah, it's got the shank on it, too. Look, and it's going to have a back mark. Daggummit. Oh, it doesn't have a back mark. It looks smooth on the back. I'll have to show it to you cleaned up. There oh, it is. Man. <laughs> First signal in this field. We've hit this field hard. All right, I rinsed it off. It is a script eye. Pretty good shape. It's got a little ding in the front of it. It's a plain back, so there's no back mark on it. The back's in good shape, too. So let's see if I can look that up some way. All right, cool. Well, I think this is a tiny, tiny button. That's what that is. Wish I had my toothbrush. Could tell for sure. That would be a button. I'll have to clean that up. Let's see. That's definitely it. Might be a bullet. Well, I'll clean it up later and we'll find out what it is. Not very heavy. Well, down in this hole is a this heart shaped padlock cover. So the front part with the keyhole and the little keyhole cover still on it. That may have something on there. A little tiny one. But a high security back in the day. Alright, and this whole piece of plastic. And I was like, oh, it might be modern crime. And maybe a modern coin, but there's something around. Right there. Let's see what it is. Yep. It's like a nickel. Oh, it's got a five on it. It's old. Hot <laughs> dog. Oh, it's old. Let's see. Is it? Uh, huh. Well, I don't know. 
it must be a token too. Alright, I'm gonna clean it up. I'll show you in just a second to figure out what kind of coin it is. Alright, check this out. I have no idea. It's definitely a token. But that says five three six on the front of it, right there. And then on the back it says good. Good for five something in trade. Good for five. Can't see if it's cents or dollars. Good for five in trade. Huh. All right, I'll take it. That's pretty cool. I'll have to do some research. All right, that hole right there got something roundish. Let's see what it is. It is a button. It's a plain flat button. I'll take it. Cool. All right, look down this hole. I dug that flat button right there. I think I got another one. Come on, have a look. That might be a coin, actually. Or maybe it's got a broken shank. Oh, it's got a flattened shank. Yeah, there's the shank. It's another flat button. Let's see if it's got anything on it. David was saying, hopefully, it's got something on it. Or eight. And I think I got a button right here. Yep. There we go. And I don't see anything off of it, uh, on it, right off. But I'm pretty sure it's a button. Hmm. That might be the end of a cartridge, actually. But I'll have to clean it up, like, you know, the uh, pin fire end. But I'll have to clean that up, and I don't think I have a toothbrush. I still forgot to put it in my bag. All right, the sun's going down, so I think that's it for the day. Uh, I got a couple of good finds. I'm going to clean up and show you in a wrap-up. All right, everyone, welcome to the wrap-up. Um, I couldn't find the oil lamp piece. It's been a while since that hunt, but anyway, there goes the modern dime and the Lincoln Memorial penny. That one piece was a piece of um, aluminum. Yep, there's a piece of gilded brass. Who knows what that was? Jeans button. See the design on there. A knob for an oil lamp. We got that D buckle, which looks like an older one, but who knows? Maybe late 1800s, early 1900s. Not sure. Got a flat button with nothing on there. That was not a well. If it was a musket ball, it's one of those hollowed out ones. I heard they hollowed them out and shot them with a stick in between them to keep two together. But I also know that these can be um, spindle whorls for uh, weaving thread or or yarn, I guess or a um, fishing uh, weight. That one piece is a knob off of something, I think. You know, off a tractor or something. I did get this big dandy button and I didn't film it for some reason. I'm not sure why, but it was in the fines. Piece of an oil lamp, I think. And then we got another... Oh, this was that cartridge. Um, it's the end of a, um, a cartridge. Probably a Spencer cartridge or something like that. Got the padlock piece. Got this piece that is decorative. It's got, it's folded over on the back, so it was a piece of something. I hate to say that, but you'll never know exactly what it is. I did get some more flat buttons. Um, one of them does have a little, is the one that had gold gilt on the back of it. I think it was that one that I showed a minute ago. Yeah, there's the gold gilt on the back of it. And then we got another one here, and we got an 1866 Indian head penny. This 1866 Indian head penny. It's in decent shape. Something that's been on the ground for a long time. And then we got the um, token. The 536 token. I did some research to try to figure out what that stands for. Usually it's a merchant name on the front, but that is not. I'm not sure what that means. Then on the back is um, good for five cents in trade. Then the find of the hunt. It's a script eye button, Confederate infantry, and it does not have a back mark on it. It still has the shank. It's got a little hole in the front. But that's okay for something like that. So I hope you enjoyed the hunt. And if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button for me if you don't mind. And I will see you at the next video.